Hello Da Vinci, welcome back. This is Monday the 25th of January's History Lesson. This is Lesson 13 in our term this week. This this week is our 13th lesson of the term. So um, a learning objective is, can I explain what I know about the ISS? So here we go. Do you remember, talk to you Teddy, what the ISS stands for? What is the purpose of the ISS? How has the ISS helped us to understand more about space? Those are our three questions. Do you remember? Well, you might have said, do you remember what the ISS stands for? Well, we're going to find that out in a minute again as a reminder, but it is the International Space Station. What is the purpose of the ISS? So what is it used for? Well, it's kind of like a space hub that, all, that other countries, international countries can use. And it's there for some science experiments to understand more about space. And how has the ISS helped us to understand more about space where well, we conduct science experiments? We do science experiments up there to help us understand more about fire in space, some things, some things about like moon rocks and things like that. So it's lots of different fun experiments. Right, moving on. We are going to be experiencing a virtual tour. So that means you're going to be watching a video of what's going on on the ISS. Now, this video is quite long. It's 50 minutes. Uh, but what I want you to do is I want you to try and stick with it. OK, and you watch the first 25 minutes of it and it gives you a tour around the whole space station. Really, really cool. So if you were to watch it, then it, it lets you get them really good facts as well. Now, I've got some questions here about where did the tour start? What are the astronauts growing aboard? Why is it important for the astronauts to regularly check their weight and conduct blood tests, tests and ultrasounds? And these are all questions you would find in this, in this um, video. Now, I'm not expecting work to be given back to me on tapestry for this because these are some quite difficult questions. But if you can listen to the video and watch it, and then after you've watched it, see whether you can remember some of those facts and come back to listen to what uh, the questions are. So I've read those three questions out. The next one say, what experiment did the astronauts do in the glove box? What project was Stephen Swanson working on? What section was after the lab? And what is the section used for? And you could draw a picture here of the food warmer, if you remember what the food warmer looks like. Question eight is, where do the astronauts suit up when they need to go for a spacewalk? And where do the astronauts store all of their stuff? What is the name of the module where the astronauts work out? And where do the astronauts get their drinking water from? So those are all my questions. What I want you to do is to make sure you've watched that video and you'll be able to have a good idea of what these answers are to those questions. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to go through the answers now. So I'm not going to be marking um, each of your answers on tapestry, but if you've, you're here now, you can answer these questions verbally, okay? Right, so you're ready. Questions and answers about the ISS. Where did the tour start? Well, the tour started in the Columbus, the European side of the ISS. So it's got different sides for different parts of the countries. So you've got the Columbus side, which is the European side. What are the astronauts growing aboard the ISS? Well, they were growing lettuce. Mm. Why is it important for the astronauts to regularly check their weight? conduct some blood tests and ultrasounds and ultrasounds were those machines where they put some like jelly on and they rub it over your skin you get one if you are having a baby you might get an ultrasound to see how the baby's doing in the in the mum's tummy but um you you also use them for maybe checking parts of your body like your bones and some of your muscles okay so why is it important that they were checking that well it's to ensure that the astronauts are really healthy and that when they're in space for such a long time, it's not affecting their body in a bad way. So they need to check that because they've been in space for so long, they're not going to be unwell. What experiments have the astronauts done in the glove box? What have they done in their glove box? Well, they have been burning stuff to see how fire reacts in space. 
what project was Steven Swanson working on? He was working on a robot. Mm, how exciting. This is what a picture of a food warmer looks like. So if you drew anything that's similar to that, that's fantastic. It looks like a briefcase, like a bag. Really interesting. Where do the astronauts suit up when they need to do a spacewalk? Where do they suit up? Well, they suit up in an equipment lock. So it's kind of like a lock in between. Um, it's a bit of a, a difficult one, but it's a lock in between where everyone else is and where space is outside. It's like a room that's locked between the two. Where do the astronauts store all of their stuff? Well, in the PMM, the Permanent Multipurpose Module. That's where they put all their stuff. And what is the name of the module where the astronauts work out? It's Node 3. That's where they can do all their exercise. Where do the astronauts get their drinking water from? It's urine. It's recycled and put through a water processor to be turned into drinking water. If you don't know what urine is, urine is another way of saying we. So when the astronauts go for a wee, or if it's their sweat or anything that's in the air, any moisture, it all gets sucked in to the walls in the ISS. They change it to make it clean again. They filter it and then they make it into drinking water. So in the ISS, um, you were drinking somebody else's wee after they've made it all clean. Mm -mm. So I hope you've enjoyed some of those facts. That's all the facts that we've gone through from the video, the first 25 minutes. We have got nothing that you've got to submit for Tapestry. Just wanted to make sure that you've understood that video. You've had a really good time watching the video and having a look around the ISS. Thank you very much, DaVinci, for coming to this lesson. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.